What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pick Your Brain Podcast, a platform to showcase creatives, social issues, mental health, and community empowerment. I'm Simone. It's Mike D. What's good? What up, what up, folks? This champ, you know who it is, B. Ah, the champ. Forget about it. Forget about it. What are we doing today? Uh, so I think viewers should know that, um, unfortunately, Simone killed Kyle. So, you know. <laughs> the murderous Simone. <laughs> Kyle said something about, yay, John Walker, and then Simone just let him have it. It was over. I was like, you know, I showed up to his work and I was like, <laughs> ah, let's go. Mm, you have it coming. I'm just kidding. So, yeah. yeah. What we are actually doing today is. Dun, dun. We're recapping with Simone. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, <laughs> it's all about Simone today. See, yeah. money, what's up? Um, How is you? Um, I'm good. Nothing much, to be honest. Um, uh, sorry, I'm like addressing the mic. But um, I just got off of work. <laughs> my feet hurt a lot because I just got new shoes and I'm trying to break them in. But when, that's my current um feelings. <laughs> how how often do you get new shoes? She's like a shoe head, by the way. <laughs> um, oh, you're a shoe head? Mm, not like to that that extent. Like I would never buy shoes for like six hundred dollars. I think that's excessive. But I like shoes a lot. Hmm. Yeah. She's a shoe head. Low key. Low key. Low key. Sneaker head. Watch all the sneaker heads are gonna come after me. They're like, okay, what's the shoe? Right. <laughs> So. They're gonna be like, "Oh, do you have the new LeBron Space Jam 360 No Scope, uh, 355, <laughs> no scope. <laughs> a, a, a John Walker Edition?" John Walker Edition. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? What's like the most expensive shoes that you ever bought? Um, probably, probably these Jordans, but I sold them. The Pine Greens, the Two Point mm. Jordans. I, I sold them. I sold them to buy a camera. <laughs> <laughs> to 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 support oh, another those, habit. <laughs> were those the ones you posted one time on yeah. Snapchat or some shit? Oh my gosh, I posted them as a joke. Like I posted them before I didn't I even realized that I wanted to sell them. I was like, oh, fifty dollars for these. Um I think they're like pine green Jordan ones or something like that. Mm, who wants them for fifty dollars? And so uh, I didn't think that people would actually believe me because if like you know these shoes, you know they read read Resale, yeah, resale, yeah. resale for so much more than that. And somebody was like, oh my God, me, me, me. I'm like, oh, do you think I'm stupid? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, you, how much did you sell it for? Um, I actually used to, sold it to a friend. So, I think I bought them for like uh, $240 and I sold it for like $230. Okay. Yeah. So, the $50 no. was a joke. Yeah, that was a joke. I would never. <laughs> and like, some someone messaged me, they were like, do you know how much these are worth? You could probably sell them for more than this. And I was like, yeah, I was just like trolling the internet. What a troll. Yeah, it was oh funny. God, what a troll. Yeah, no, I... Okay, for me personally, fashion, style, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Kind of have like some childhood issues with it. Mm. But um, I mean, I've seen like videos. I think I've seen an interview with Logic where he goes buy sneakers and he just shows off his sneaker collection. And I'm just like holy shit but then the art of flipping sneakers i'm just mm. like god damn bro i mean i had some experience flipping ps5s but like <laughs> even then, i was like i was like fuck dude like just oh god yeah have you yeah. Flipped, flipped any shoes no i have not flipped any shoes but mm. my dad my dad likes sneakers too and he always wins on freaking the sneakers app and i'm like how do you always get the dubs like right. i'm so confused but um I think he wanted me to sell some fives, but no one really wears fives anymore. So I'm just like, I don't know how much you could get that for. Mm. So I haven't really like flip flipped. Okay, okay. Because I Do feel people like people wear six now. Yeah, mm -mm. it's all about ones. You, you, you have <laughs> oh. to get those. You have to get those TikTokers. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. I love you TikTokers, by the way. <laughs> Do your thing. But um, yeah, they're like the reason why it's like so inflated. Mm. But 
If you all notice uh, Simone's uh, sound. It sounds a lot better. It's I hope it sounds more crispier. crisp. It's a little crispier. We got a new mic for her. Yeah. Well, she got her own mic. <laughs> yeah, because we're all um, <clears throat> buying our own like mics to, you know, upgrade. We're upgrading. We're upgrading. To upgrade a some little people, system. <laughs> some people be like spring cleaning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Hopefully you guys notice. Because I think we notice a lot. Like, yeah, I can totally. I, it's very clear the the difference, and so yeah. it's hella good. Listeners finna be like, God damn it! Now we can hear these absurdities more clear. God, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's be absurdity. Like, beefalo. Oh I was gonna God. say, look, as long as we don't ever come up with another beefalo shit, I'm okay <laughs> with that. <laughs> Jesus. So what is good, C Money Simone? Um, what is good? So we started six months ago. Yes. We and did. so what has happen within the six months timeline with the PYB podcast. Anything new to you with you? Um, honestly, it doesn't even feel like it's been six months. It feels like it's like been like less than that. Really? Yeah. For some reason. Like, I don't feel like we've like we've three months, couple months? Six months. Um, I don't know. It feels like it feels like three months to be honest. Like I sometimes I'm confused with what year it is sometimes. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> That's real. You know? But um, wait, this is in 1973. <laughs> I wish it was. I'm just kidding. Ew, wait, 1973. Okay, for fashion wise, I wish it was. But uh, for everything else, I'm, I think I'm a cool. With, okay. You know, with everything. But um, uh, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go talk about that. What's your YouTube right, channel? Yeah. Break it down. Break it down. What is <laughs> what is the YouTube channel? Where can they find it? What is your YouTube channel all about? Um, so my YouTube channel, I uploaded my int like introduction video. It's it's just my favorite movies and like uh, TV shows, just so people can get a feel of what I like because I want to gear it towards um, movie commentary. And also, my next upcoming video is gonna be um, about the five books I read over spring break, and I kind of want to mesh books and movies together so i would like some video ideas i have is to compare the book to the movie and also do like that meshed in with movie commentary like while i'm watching a movie i'm like oh they did this different in the book or like you know just stuff like that and just kind of lifestyle type stuff so yeah lifestyle like yeah. what kind of lifestyle um, not like vlogging because I could never see myself like, hi guys, I'm in Target right now. You know, no, no. Like I can't, I can't, I don't see myself doing that. Like I get embarrassed, but, um, like me and Kyle, we made a video of like, who knows who better. And I won by the way, <laughs> you didn't even know my full name. I'm just kidding. But, um, just stuff like that, like challenges with my friends, mm. like me and my sister want to do like an ASMR mukbang. She's excited that I got this mic because she wants to use my mic to do ASMRs. Mm. So that's fun. Just stuff like with like my friends and most it's going to be mostly like geared towards like movie commentary and like books and stuff like that. I kind of want to mesh the book world and the movie world together. So I'm like very okay. interested in that. So, yeah. Let's do a challenge right now. Let's do it. Can we do an activity real quick? <laughs> Jonathan's like, um. Let's do a, what do you call those? Uh, twunk, tongue twisters. Okay. So it's oh. the, it's a Tagalog tongue twister. Oh my God, my mom always makes me do this. <laughs> okay. It's the 77 white sharks. So, pitong put, pitong puting pating. Yeah, pitong putong pating. <laughs> I don't know. Puting putong pating. Like, I forgot. She made me like read it. Yeah. Is it? So, se 77 is pitong put pitong and then white is putty, putting, and then shark is putting. So, pitong put, pitong putting, putting. Pitong put. Okay. Peter Piper, pick a pack of pickle peppers. So, oh so, things like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else is there? Kang, there's a there's one that's like kung 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 I don't know. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, but... Do you have any uh, Spanish tongue twisters, uh, Jonathan? I think right off the bat, I, I can't think of any, to be honest. Okay, I keep thinking okay. of English ones, but I can't think of Spanish ones right off the okay. top. Okay. What's like, actually so funny is like, you know, like those tongue twisters, you know how like usually like um, on like Facebook or something, like they're written out and mm. you would have to say it. 
And um, me and my brother, like, we couldn't really get it because, like, you know, we're not used to, like, just seeing it and, like, you know, right. saying it. But my brother has a friend. He's Cuban. And he got it because, like, the way you say it, like, the uh, syllables are, or, like, whatever, like, the enunciation is, like, the same in Spanish, I guess. Right. And he got every single one. And we were like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> like, how did he get every single one? It was the, the, sila- the way it's, the way it's like, pronounced, pronounced and syllabic. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is not to offend anybody, but I can believe it with like Cuban folks because they speak Spanish a little bit, you know, faster, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, <laughs> 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 like if you were to tell me like, you know, Cuban friend or a Puerto Rican friend. Oh yeah, I can believe it. Just like, but I don't know. Oh my god! Oh man! So you yeah. So folks, uh, make sure to check out what is the channel's name? It's you called. T- it's it's kind of it's linked to my um, podcast. Oh yeah, I started a podcast by the way. <laughs> that um, too. That too. That too. <laughs> the beginning of this year, but um, it's linked to my podcast. It's called Shmoney Talks. Uh, that's S H Money. And then space talks, and yeah, um, we'll have it linked below, I guess. For sure, and we'll put yeah. we'll put that link out to make sure you check out her podcast, yeah. the YouTube channel. Make sure to support, keep an eye on her gang, gang. videos. <laughs> That's what's up. We're trying to eat out here. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I actually got a dislike on my video. It was funny. What? Wait, 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 wait! Did you say dislike? <laughs> yeah. Somebody dislike yeah. your video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's so it's probably funny. Kyle. <laughs> It's so funny because um, I didn't know like someone disliked it because I don't you don't get notifications if someone likes or dislikes your stuff, and my friend commented on it. He was like, "How is someone is just how is someone just gonna dislike this?" LOL, like something like that. Right. And I was like, "What is he saying?" So I like clicked it. I clicked the notification that it sent me for his um, comment, and I saw it. Someone disliked it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It was so funny to me because a lot of the YouTubers that I do watch don't even get dislikes. <laughs> and I'm just like, they have like how many thousand people that are like watching them and they get no dislikes. And here I am, 68 views and one dislike. <laughs> Wait, so your friend commented saying that who the hell disliked this? Yeah, what? that's a little sus. <laughs> That's a little suspect. He probably did it. I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess I you say, what did you add in your movie list, fam? No, yeah, that's what I was like. No, I think it's Loki, someone I know. Exactly. You know, because like it's like it's a friend of me. Yeah. I was like, what is the point of that? I'm like, because even if I have like YouTube videos that I don't like, I personally don't dislike. I just like you know like just let just it go. <laughs> someone said, oh my god, I hated these movies that she chose. Dislike. <laughs> like fuck you, Simone. <laughs> Fuck you. I hope you never make YouTube videos again. Uh, dislike. dislike. <laughs> Damn, what did, you, what did you do, Simone? Did you say right? the best Spider-Man film or the ones with Andrew Garfield or something? I know. <laughs> it's surprising because I didn't even mention, like, um, I didn't mention Star Wars. I didn't mention, like, in my favorites list, I didn't mention Star Wars because, like, I don't know. I, I, like other, I, like, I like other things than Star Wars, you know? I know I talk about <laughs> <that> a lot. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was funny. So I got a hater up in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so check out the YouTube. Try yeah. not to dislike. <laughs> um, if you if you want to, I mean, if you want to, um, you know, put out your aggression on me, that's totally okay. Like I understand people need their outlet. So if you want to use me as an outlet, that's fine. <laughs> if you need a punching bag, <laughs> yeah, Simone. you need to- <laughs> Simone be like, okay. <laughs> It's okay. We use those negatives to develop, like in film. <laughs> yeah. Oh, period. I'm just kidding. No. But yeah. Shout out, Jonathan. Logic. Thank you for the reference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Do you have any questions for Simone? Let's like, um, not really. <laughs> like, eh. uh, dislike. <laughs> Honest, honestly, you know, like pineapple on pizza or no? Yes. I'm out. All right. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It's good. Pineapple on pizza is good. Sweet and savory. You know? why, wait, why you don't like pineapple on pizza, Jonathan? I kind of just keep it as a running gag. I mean, well, actually, okay, personally, I feel like <laughs> pineapple on pizza, it's a little, not, not my personal favorite, right? But I just kind of ran with the gag as the meme went viral quite some time ago. And so uh-huh. I was like, you know, it's just going to be my thing now. I'm just going to be like, do you like pineapple on pizza? Oh, okay, you do? We're not friends. That, yeah. that's, that's your icebreaker. That's your icebreaker. Okay, okay. Do you okay. Like pineapple on pizza or not? 
But yeah, I like pineapple I mean, on pizza. I mean, I don't know, bro. I want to talk about, uh, you know, Falcon, Winter yeah. Soldier. Bro. Like, I, don't know, I don't know if like spoilers and shit. Who cares? Let's go. Break well, it down. Okay, um, All right. If you haven't watched it, suck my ass. <laughs> yeah. Disclaimer. Um, before we begin this like slight conversation, if you haven't watched the Falcon and Winter Soldier, then um, spoilers. Don't continue listening. Just skip like three minutes. <laughs> Next five, I'm like, minutes. I say, I say that, and they're like, they stop viewing. <laughs> like, no, I don't want you to stop viewing the whole thing. <laughs> like, if you don't, don't want to hear. Just dislike Simone's video. Yeah, just dislike it. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Okay, go with the question. What's your question? So uh, what was your reflection on that episode four, though? <clears throat> wait, wait, oh. I have, I don't know. What's the show again? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot Mike doesn't watch it. <laughs> it's Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Falcon so and the Winter Soldier. it's about a Falcon soldier. that likes to fly, and then there's the soldier who uh, likes mm. the winter, and okay. so they have fun adventures. In- <laughs> okay. This is part of the Marvel Universe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's- pretty much it's, I would say, like Captain America's two right-hand man men kind of right would you describe them as his two right-hand man or the right hand and the left hand right hand and left hand well bucky (laughs) bucky which one is he because he doesn't have one arm so (laughs) So he's the other one yeah no captain america is bucky's left hand hand. i'm just kidding kidding. no i was gonna say wouldn't sam wilson technically be his left hand because remember how in winter soldier and then uh in uh, endgame on your left yeah Oh, true, true. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so back to the much, question. I mean, it's like it's like uh, uh, Steve Rogers' best friend, and then sort of like his sidekick in a sense. Yeah, and they kind of like navigate throughout this world that without him, without Captain America, and they have to like really adjust. And they're just like mourning, and they're like, oh, "There's no one like Steve." What there isn't, <laughs> because John Walker. I don't know who you think you are, but. <laughs> Excuse me, put that shield back. Okay. Give it back. Give it back the shield. So this is the latest Disney Channel's yes. uh, release in terms of the Marvel. Okay. Yeah. So one the one vision is is still going? Yeah, it's uh no, actually it ended the first season. So uh, after that, I think it, one week passed and then they started the winter. So this is where you're on right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hype right now. Okay. You know, it was <laughs> actually the most streamed show um on Disney Plus. Which like, one? The Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier yeah. is the most streamed. streamed. Yeah, first episode or something really? streamed premiere. Yeah. All uh, right, y'all, y'all have to give me your Disney account, Disney Plus account <laughs> login, <Right. laughs> so I can catch up. <laughs> it's like, did it, did it, Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the question was, how how was the episode how do I feel? four? How do I reflect? Yeah, how do you feel about that? Oh, dude, I knew it. I knew that he was gonna freaking be con- contemplating like. Serum? 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 Because he just seems like that guy. Because from the beginning, like, I don't know, just like the feeling of like when someone just like doubts themselves and they're like, oh my God, like no one's looking at me like I'm serious. Like, oh, because, dude, duh, like no one's going to look at you like you're serious. It's like you're trying to be some somebody you're not. Mm. Uh, maybe I'm just biased because Captain America is actually like my first like favorite um Really? Like superhero? Yeah. Really? Cap- I've loved Captain America ever since like I was in sixth grade. Like I have a, oh my God. If you guys find my old YouTube account, cause I cannot delete it. Cause I don't know what the password is. I literally have a video of me in a Captain America shirt going. <laughs> like, oh my God. It's so embarrassing. But. All right. PYB listeners. You better find that video and share it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck though. It's hard. I think it's hard to find, but yeah, I don't, I just, I had a feeling that he was gonna. Can I say it? Can I just say the spoiler? I mean, you already gave yeah. the disclaimer. I mean, okay, so like, pretty much, there's a whole bunch of like, um, what do they call them? The super soldiers, because somebody created the serum that um, Captain America originally had, and all of them are like super strong, like Captain America. And they're trying to get it because they're like, oh, no, super soldiers. No, bad, bad. <laughs> and then um, um, so they attack the main person and then the person drops all the serum little thingies. And as what's his name? Why am I blanking? He steps on them. He like breaks all of them. How are you going to forget? Look, Zemo, dude. Okay, there you-, dude, you don't remember his <laughs> the little. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So he steps on them, breaks them. And then 
before he could break all of them, freaking John Walker over here with his shield, not his shield, with the shield, say the shield, with the shield, like knocks him out and then sees one that's not broken. He's like, and puts it in his pocket. Temptation. Yeah. And then he asked his little sidekick was like, he was like, if you had the chance to get the serum, would you do it? Duh, who wouldn't? <laughs> who wouldn't want to be that, <laughs> that strong? Says, Hells yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, hell yeah. So is that where it ends? No, it ends because oh. his his sidekick dies. <gasps> and that's I'm kind I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical if he actually like, died, right? Actually died because there's two shots that pan back to him. Yeah. So that has me feeling like Marvel, you doing some shit, bro. Like watch him be alive and then um, but yeah, he did. But in the very end, he did some. He did something that Steve Rogers would have never done. Captain and America. Everyone saw it, and now I don't know if people people are definitely not going to take him seriously. But I think that's going to be the turning point where he actually does take the serum. But yeah, I don't like him. Mm. Actually, I think this is a golden opportunity, Mike. Do you have like a superhero, like favorite superhero? Actually, yeah, I was going to ask the same question to everyone since, oh. you, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so like since you shared. Uh, my favorite superhero, does it have to be just Marvel? No, it could be any. No. Um, Darna. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Marvel. Marvel. Uh, oh, that one's tough. Uh, definitely. I mean, if you want to say Blade, by all means. <laughs> <laughs> Part of Marvel, too. Wait, let's go with yours, Jonathan. You know, for the longest time, I was like, you know, I like Iron Man. Uh, and then I was like, you know, when Black Panther came out and all that sort of shit, I got hella hyped. And I was like, dude, Black Panther, T'Challa, that's the shit. T'challa. But then I started reflecting back on my childhood. And I recently started playing uh, Marvel's Spider-Man video game. Um, on my PlayStation 5, and then I started playing the Miles Morales version, mm. and the more and more I played this, I was like, you know what? I don't know why the hell I thought otherwise. Like, Spider-Man is my homie, bro. Because I remember growing up, bro, like, I love Tom Holland and all, but my nostalgia makes me pick uh, oh, Tom, Mag- uh, Tom McGuire, bro. Mm. You mean Toby? Toby. I was like, I knew <laughs> I fucked that up. Yeah, so, I was like, Toby McGuire, bro. Like, that 2000, what was it? Like, 2000, 2001, 2002 Spider-Man. Like, that one. Yeah, oh. like that. I actually rewatched yeah. rewatched the the movies recently. Or the first one um, recently. And I was like, wow. Like, the, the cinematography in this. Dude. It's great. So when, cra- it's, when it's dumb. Okay. So, the crazy <laughs> thing is that, um, what was it? When did I buy it? I think. I bought like a Sony TV in 2018, I think it was. Um, And so at the time, the deal was like, oh, if you buy this TV, you can buy like two movies for free or some shit. And so I saw that the Andrew Garfield movies were like promos. And so I ended up buying them. I'm not Mm -hmm. the biggest fan of that. Yeah. Spider-Verse, but I was just like, well, fuck. I kind of want to watch all the Spider-Man movies. And so I ended up purchasing, like, that triple uh, bundle with, like, the Tobey Maguire ones. And then I watched the Amazing Spider-Man one. And I was just like, fuck, dude. Like, yep. And so now that I'm reflecting back, I'm like, yeah, Spider-Man's my homie, bro. Like, that guy's just so fucking lit, bro. Yeah. Especially Spider-Man 3, bro. Emo Peter Parker, bro. (laughs) Ooh, you can't fuck with him, bro. (laughs) Finger bang. Okay, so I I got my hero now. It would have to be Magneto. Interesting. Whoa. Interesting. Magneto. Why huh? Why is that? No, I mean. As a hero, not like a anti-hero, because I don't know. Right? Like, <laughs> he's kind of like, because like in the, in the movies, like you kind of see like why he turned into what he turned into. What was that one you know? film? X-Men Origins? Was I that the so. one? Because like he, you know. <sighs> Well, do you, you know where, where that comes from, that story, right? Uh, Magneto and Xavier. It's really the parallel of Malcolm X and MLK. Mm, interesting. That is, that, is, that is the real parallel that was created by Stan Lee. At the time when he created it, it was to represent uh, the difference uh, w- between ah. Malcolm X and MLK. And one is very agitated and willing to do anything to free his people, mm-hmm. while the other one wants to work within the system. And so that really represents, like, so, uh, yeah. yeah, definitely, I'm a Magneto fan. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So, because wow. you know, like the the mutant or they're different. That's really yeah the community, and so that's really different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stanley Damn, like created gonna... some shit. Like yeah. the Black Panther was really supposed to represent the actual Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, and so Damn. yeah. And That's I'm crazy. over here like, I like Spider-Man because he swings. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I also like his like. That's so funny because he swings. <laughs> oh my God. He shoots webs. You're, you're all over here like, yeah, like parallels to like actual shit. And then he's like, oh, he got webs. <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah. I'm definitely, I love, I love Magneto. You know, actually, now that you bring this up. Um, I yeah I I like I think you should get on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier because it delves into a lot of yeah. political themes too, mm. and that's the main reason why I like that show because like you know it just gets very political and just yeah. the more and more you watch it you know what I'm saying like all these different tropes and all these different characters yeah. like I already had an opinion on John Walker, um, and you know it was just sort of like what I said was based on what we know so far right in the show is. You know, Steve Rogers in this world is now gone. And so, you know, there's like, oh, we need a hero, whatever. And so there's a lot of expectations um, for, you know, who can step up to the plate. And so Sam Wilson was handed the shield by Captain America. But he was just like, dude, I can't amount to what Cap was, bro. Like this guy was like, oh, gee, you know what I'm saying? And so he gives up the shield because he's like, you know, this is too much pressure. And honestly, I feel like it should just be commemorated like Steve Rogers. But then, you know, the government being a piece of shit it is, um, <laughs> they give the shield to somebody else designated to them. And now this person has sort of like a power trip because he's like, I'm the next Captain America. Yeah. And so what I drew from that was that it kind of reminds me a lot of white people's political rhetoric who are folks are naive where they're like, yeah, righteousness. And they want to try to be like Steve Rogers, but they end up being frauds and phonies like John Walker. And they get tripped up over this illusion about grandeur and all this shit when it's like, nah, because you see some of the tactics and strategies that John Walker uh, has. And it reminds me of interventionist uh, policies by the United States. And so I'm just Mm. like, Yep, that's your fucking problem. Hey, hey, y'all know my number. Please text me the your login and your password <laughs> so I can catch up. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we will get you caught up, bro. But, it, you know, these are just some of the things mm. uh, of the show. And so it's just honestly, uh, I love it because of that. And uh, I mean, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, <laughs> you can, no, you go ahead. Finish your thought. Uh, I was going to say, I mean, there was this prominent scene where um, Bucky, um, Captain America's best friend, and Sam are in what was it atlanta do you remember when they go meet isaiah the other the 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 black super soldier no yeah i don't i think it was in i don't know if it was atlanta or baltimore was it i think something like that i don't know but yeah and so pretty much like uh but uh sam wilson he's black and then bucky he's you know white complexion And so what happens is, you know, the arguing on the street and then officer like, Mm, you know, pulls them over in a sense, like profiles them and wants to have wants to have Sam Wilson arrested. And so I'm just like, yeah, they're all asking Bucky, like, is this man bothering you? Is this man bothering you? And it's Mm. like, (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Let's then Bucky was like, like "Y'all we talking about like modern times? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm in this bitch." Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. It's time for the absurdity of the day. Yeah. Hey. That's a long. One. <laughs> I was gonna see if it stopped on its own. <laughs> so, absurdity of the day is um, psychology study says that. If you are single, all you see is happy couples. But when you are committed, all you see is happy singles. That is, what are your thoughts? That's a fun fact. That's interesting. I'm single and happily single. (laughs) 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 Oh, so so you're single. Do you have these happy couples? I see people whining. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What was that? You see people whining? No, like fighting. <laughs> oh, like someone's always I heard talking, whining. Someone's always talking about a problem that we're having. Oh. 
and I'm just like oh because they share with you but yeah. without, without them sharing like what what do you see on a general level people <laughs> <laughs> no it's funny because I'm trying to think because like I don't really be like scrolling a lot on like social media and I really mm. go out but I would say like within the past like couple months like in the pandemic I've seen a lot of people get together and it's just interesting because you know we are in a pandemic but you know love is love like you, you, <laughs> no matter how you fi find it like online that's fine you know like just stay safe in both aspects okay. <laughs> what am I saying but um <laughs> a couple that get COVID together stays together yeah. both yeah. ways both. but um I mean um. I mean at work yeah I see happy couples like I found out <laughs> Like this one couple, um, I was taking their order and they did not let go hands, which I found odd. I was, it was just like a, it was just something that I saw. I was like, usually couples would like let their person, you know, put their card and do their thing, order, whatever, without like being all up on them. But they literally did not hold hands and the girl was struggling to put her card in. Because <laughs> they're holding hands. Yeah. And I was like, um. Just let go. You could, you could let go. <laughs> I know times are uncertain right now, but yeah. you could let go. <laughs> you could let go. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I see happy couples, but okay. I also see happy singles. I don't know, bro. <laughs> How about you guys? Jonathan, you're you're you. Oh yeah, you're a happy couple. You're you're are committed. You, you're happy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> do you see happy singles, or do you? Uh, what are your thoughts in that? In terms of that absurdity of the day. You know, this is a good question. I've never really thought about like it on that. Uh, like, like from that perspective. Mm. Um. Uh, okay, this might get you in trouble. <laughs> no, not that. Okay, this might this might sound a little fucked up, but. Throughout the duration of my relationship, I have seen us like outlast others. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. And so I'm just like, you know, you know, I'm I'm not judging nobody, right? Like, you know, things happen, whatever. That's on you. But I'm just like, damn, really? I made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I mean, that's kind of like one thing. I'm just like, damn, another. Ugh, God, this sounds so fucked up. I'm like, damn, another down. Like, wow, oh. I'm doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Because no, but true. the self love, self love, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. maybe that person wasn't the right one for you, but it's okay, bro. Self love, you are gonna find somebody. Yeah, you know? facts. Mm. Okay, I, I, yeah, I think it's just the saying of like the grass is greener on the other side, yeah. and so whatever your condition is. You're always looking at what it, what would it, what would it be, yeah. and what it looked like, you know, on the other side, and so that's really what it is. <laughs> yeah. I so, mean, before my relationship, I was like, "Damn, all I see is dirt," <laughs> you know. Because you know, I, yeah, let I, me plant this seed. Because I feel like I'm on, I'm on both sides. <laughs> oh. I'm on both sides at the same time. Which is good, you know, it's fine. So I'm like, okay, okay. He's like, the grass is greener wherever I go. He's like, I see the best of both worlds. But yeah, yeah. So that was absurdity of the day. That's interesting. That's interesting. You get the best of both <laughs> worlds. <laughs> oh, man. This coffee is good, by the way. Oh. Nice. Is that free lunch coffee? That's good. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> I said, is that free lunch coffee? <laughs> um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sponsor us. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, so back to Simone. Yeah. Today is Simone's yeah. day. You know what I mean? So again, she is a dancer, a choreographer. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yep. <that's>, yep. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You may not. So yeah. have you created any content in terms of your art? form yeah it's actually funny because i am i actually started choreographing a piece to a song that yeah i have like <laughs> i'm like yeah yeah, yeah. but um <laughs> where is it where is it yeah um i'm still in the process of making it but i'm excited because um i've been i actually came across um alia janelle's podcast and she if you don't know who she is she's a dancer in LA and she's very like famous for Queens Queens and Lettos. She does more of like um choreography with heels and like if you've ever seen like 
a heel dance class. It's probably hers. Okay. But yeah, I just came across her podcast one day and I fell in love with it. It's called After Class. And it's just Aaliyah Janelle and her um, friends that she dances with as well. And they're just, the way they just talk about class and talk about dance and just talk about womanhood and like life, it it makes me feel like, like I, it makes me relate so much to them because I remember that feeling in class. Like I know what they're talking about and just the dynamic between them. It's, I, I love it just because it's just, Talk. I feel like talking to other women about something you're passionate about or like just like random things is great. It's like something you relate on, you know? Mm. But yeah, <clears throat> um, but that really sparked my like my interest in dance again. Not that I was not interested in it, but it just made me more um, inspired, inspired you. you know? It like yeah. reignited essentially, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, like... Seeing them talk about dance and talking about how they love it and like the ups and the downs and stuff made me realize why I started dancing in the first place and just the dance community in general. And I was like, wow, like I, rem I remember loving this shit, you know? Okay. And when classes open up and uh, it's summertime, I plan on taking classes, more classes just to you know, try to perfect the craft and just to have fun and get my, um, uh, what's it called? Just get the groove back going because get your feet wet. Bro. Yeah. To be honest, because my footwork needs some work. Like, to be honest, like my, fu <laughs> my fundamentals uh, is a little greasy. Okay. Little greasy, yeah. But it's like riding a bike for you. Yeah. You, you'll, you just get back right into it. It's just yeah. a matter of being, a, being in a space and being able to practice. Yeah. So I, have, I had a question. As a dancer, choreographer, how do you feel about TikTok dances? <laughs> TikTok dances. <laughs> 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 you know, like you take your time, you know, you choreograph all this, and then you see this TikTok, it's just like kind of, you know, like yeah. what are your thoughts on that? How do you feel? Um, I don't, I personally, I have a TikTok, like I have an account. I have one video on it has nothing to do with dance, but um, I just don't use TikTok because you, mm, I have a lot of thoughts about TikTok. <laughs> like it's it's a wonderful platform to get you out there, but there's just so much negativity that comes with it. Like I feel so bad for, you know, the kids that are on it and just mm. freaking get their lives torn apart, torn, oh, torn apart, <laughs> torn apart. <laughs> torn apart. But, um, I personally like them, like like the dances and stuff. I just can't get old. Like me personally, I don't. If you've seen me dance before, like I, I don't really perform with my face. And I think TikTok has a lot of face. Facial? Face. Yeah, facial. Performances? Like, mm -hmm. like, you, know, like I, you can't see my face right now if you're listening, but like, you know, they'd be like, they'd be like, like I <gasps> that shit's like I have to get over the cringe factor of it because it's like I, I'm not used to like scrunching my nose to the camera. Uh. No, I'm not trying to diss y'all, but like I just <laughs> I just can't do that. I'm more of like I like technical stuff, mm. and I also hate that the people that create these dances aren't the ones that are popping off. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which sucks because there are so many talented people that like create these dances and stuff and you don't you don't see them on like, you know, getting deals and stuff like that. And it's uh, it's sad to say that that's how like our society runs. Like if you have a pretty face and you could dance a little bit, you have more of a chance. You know mm. what I'm saying? Which it sucks. And it's sad to say that. But. That's another thing. I have a problem with TikTok. Like, <laughs> I don't like that mm. a lot of the dancers that create these, they don't even. So in, in terms of yeah. the aesthetic, uh, the focus is on the aesthetic versus yeah. the technical. And yeah. yes, you as a dancer, you like the technical aspect of the dance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. You're like the, what do you call it? The In terms of rappers, right? Like. You're the... I'm the lyricist. You're the lyricist. <laughs> and, and they'd be like the mumble rap. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to say that. 
<laughs> but like, and, but the thing is too, it's getting like repetitive. Like the dances, like how many more times do I have to see that? You know what I'm saying? Like, do it again. Do it again. Like, how many more times do I have to see? Do it that? again. Do it again. The, the freaking. <laughs> You know, but, but um, you, so you can't you can't jump on a train. And would you be able? To, you know, my question mm -hmm. as you, as a dancer, as as technical as you like to be, would you be able to use a little bit of the aesthetic to be able to direct people to the technicality? Um, I mean, because the thing is, too, people who do dances on TikTok do it for fun. You know, they're not necessarily like dancers who like who like technical and like mm. like those like hard movements and like hitting the beat hitting a beat that you can't even hear sometimes so i mean if if tiktok dan like if tiktok dances inspire you to actually take up dance classes and learn the art form and like you know it's like a gateway to you like taking classes and all that stuff then like by all means do it you know but like i feel like TikTok is also just for fun, and that's mm. okay. But like, yeah. okay, okay. So that's the dancing. In regards to what's it, Harry Potter? Yes, <laughs> we're talking about Harry Potter. <laughs> In regards to Harry Potter. <laughs> In regards to Harry Potter, like I was gonna say, you sound like that person from the Lord of the Rings, the, the <laughs> little uh, the little creature thing. Uh, the ring, my precious, the, my precious, my precious. Yeah, there was Gollum. What was it? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I got something on my throat. Is the coffee? But anyways, is there like the the tribe within the Harry Potter, like the mm -hmm. Slytherin, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, um, Ravenclaw? Which one are you? I'm a Hufflepuff. What is uh, a Hufflepuff? Um, so people say Hufflepuffs are soft. Are they're really nice. They're soft. Yeah, and we're nice. kind. Like yeah, we're nice, kind. Um. What else? I don't know. But are they like the earth yeah. signs of Harry mm -hmm. Potter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, because, really? Yeah, they where they um like you know, like their like dorms where they live is like underground. There's this underground and Ravenclaw's like up in the sky. Oh, so that'd be like an air sign. <gasps> yeah, like air sign and then Slytherin is um Water, snake, water. Uh, Slytherin. Grith uh, Gryffindor. <laughs> Gryffindor is fire because uh. he's a lion. So you're a Hufflepuff. Yeah, I mean it's not surprising, you know. Like, <laughs> I'm all like, I'm like, you guys know. But um, yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. Feels great. So you think you're nice and kind? That's so. That sounds so like self. Like <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm nice. I'm kind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Like I'm, I'm really like so I'm, nice I'm like and so kind. Nice. <laughs> when yeah, I'm you know, mad. like. Yeah, I'm like so nice. You know, I never think about killing people. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Rest in peace, Kyle. Wait, so which, <laughs> where would we be? Uh, Jonathan, where would Jonathan be? Or I don't me? know. You or guys me. have to, if you want to take the test, Harry Potter. Oh, there's a test. Yeah, there's a test you take. That's how I know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Which, which one's the fire sign? Gryffindor. Uh, probably the, the Gryffindor. Yeah, Gryffindor is known for being brave and like, um, like a go-getter or some shit like that. Go-getter. I don't know. How about you, Jonathan? The grass is always greener on your side, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wherever I go. <laughs> the grass yeah. turns green when I go. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, do you have any question? Oh, yeah. can I talk about... Oh, you have a question? I was going to talk about yeah. Harry Potter even more. Keep going. Go ahead. But like, what makes me happy is like my sister... So she's into uh, K-pop and all that stuff, right? K-pop. And I think either ATs or one of the groups had a, had a set... And their theme was, sorry, excuse me. Their theme was Harry Potter. So, like, she came up to me and she was like, hey, like, can we watch Harry Potter? And I was like, what? Because <laughs> she never, like, had, the, had an interest of watching Harry Potter. She's just not into that stuff. And she was like, yeah, I just want to understand their set. And I was like, ah. So we started watching Harry Potter. And this is her spring break. So we're going to watch, like. Where are you guys now? What have you seen? Um, we've only watched the first one just because, like, we just started this weekend. Mm. And, um. Yeah, I'm excited. That's so cute. Yeah. It's like the big sister and the little sister's like, yeah, yeah. looking She's up like, to you. <laughs> I was like, okay. okay, but like my sister's like my best friend. That's to be honest, dope. like we like she always comes. We always play cards at night. Like we have a little like tick. We have like tick marks to see who wins, and then we oh. said at the end of the year, whoever wins like has to buy someone something else, something oh, at the end of the dope. year. But then it's like I'm the only one that has a job, so I don't know where she's gonna get her money from. 
but yeah, it's very fun. I what, love, like, what's the age difference between you and this sister? Uh, my sister is 12 and I'm 21. 21, so yeah. about nine. That's yeah. a huge gap. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's fun to see her grow. Mm. Like in just talking to her about like certain topics and seeing where her like mind is and stuff. Let me tell you, when I was her age, I was not, I was, I don't know where my head was, like, to be honest. Like, the way she, like, thinks about things and the way she processes them, like, I'm, like, the way she is, she's very, like, observant. She learn, learns from, like, other people and, like, mm. how, like, she navigates the world is just so interesting to me. How much of that has she learned from you? Um, probably a lot, just okay. because I, I messed up a lot. So she's like, oh, not that, you okay. know? <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, it's just interesting. I love talking to her. I got her into reading, which is great. Because, mm. like, my parents are like, hey, try to get your sister into reading. So, yeah, she's she's joining leadership at her school. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. And she's hella tall. Mad tall. Dude, she's as tall as me. How tall are you? I'm 5'6". And she's 5'6"? Yeah, five? I'm pretty sure she's 5'6". Because... Or and like maybe like, 12 like years half old. an inch smaller. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure she's going to be like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, or something like oh, that. Oh, wow. But, yeah, she's mad tall. Crazy. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, Jonathan, do you have a question for Simone? Actually, it's gonna be a comment because you know how like she was like, "Oh, I'm a Hufflepuff," and my okay, go ahead. Door. I was gonna be like, "I'm a Jigglypuff," based on how I'm eating. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. Jigglypuff. A Jigglypuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I never really got into Harry Potter, so I mean, I don't really have much on that. Yeah. <laughs> I only watch one good. of them. Which one? Uh, prisoner of a oh, prisoner of Azkaban. There we go. Mm. I just remember Expelliarmus or some shit like that. Expelliarmus. Yeah. Or what was the other one? Um, it, that that was used in that third movie. They said, did they say stupefy? Expecto that Patronus. Yeah, expecto, like expecto Patronum. Patron, expecto Patron. Gold. Ex, expecto <laughs> Patronos. Patronusy. <laughs> Patronacy. Yeah, Patronacy. Expecto Patronacy. Yo, we gotta get 35 mm back. back. Oh my god. Yo, we gotta do that. Expecto Patronacy. Expecto Patronacy. Just like put like a sticker of the wand and then the top is the same. Patronacy. But yeah. So June 15, they're saying that they're gonna open up everything. Oh wow. And so uh, I know you just turned 21. And so, what are you what are you excited for in regards to things opening up? Um, honestly, nothing really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, um, she's a she's an introvert. <laughs> yeah, I like being at home. <laughs> Shout out Hufflepuff. Shout out Hufflepuff. She was she was loving this uh, shelter in place quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean. I'm about to be vaccinated like completely soon. Okay. So that's great. But um, in terms of everything opening up, uh, I really don't have like thoughts on it. I don't know. I just feel like mm, dance really classes. Oh yeah, dance classes. That's that's exciting. Oh. I'm excited for that mostly. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Can but, those um, dance classes happen in the club? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're if you get if you get me drunk enough, I'm like, hey, you want to learn a cap? You know, like you want to learn a cap? Hey, you want to learn technical stuff? Yeah, like um, this is a dead stop, and then this is a reverb. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> but um, I mean, I don't plan on going to clubs. I mean, I'm not really like into clubs and stuff mm. like that. I mean, I'll go to happy hour. I'll go to a bar. Okay, like, I did that like like two weeks ago. But um, okay, yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah, with who? With Kyle. With Kyle. Kyle Carlos. Yeah, because we went to go. I forgot what. Oh, we went to go. No, just kidding. We went to eat chicken and then we were like, oh, do you want to go drink? So, okay. Yeah, that was fun. It was in Santana Row and it was just like a lot of people. And I was like, whoa. I know. I went to the boardwalk, Santa Cruz today. It's like, hello, people. Yeah. I was like, oh. People I mean, it was kind of hot today too, bro. I yeah. mean, like, even just me, I was like, fuck, dude. Like, it's like breezy and kind of cool outside, but why is my room so hot, bro? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was nice. Uh, the, yeah, I took out the kids, and so yeah, like, I'm excited for summer just to the uh, the temperature, the heat, yeah. be able to like enjoy the beach, uh, the local beaches in the Bay Area. So, yeah. what are the great beaches that you y'all know of? Um, that well, y'all prefer. 
there's this beach that I always went to. Like last summer, I went to this beach like damn near every day, or it felt like almost every day. What no, beach is that? No one goes there. I don't know what it's called. It's it's called Simone Beach. Yeah, not naming it. That. <laughs> no, because like I remember one day I was like, I want to go to the beach, like just to relax, but I don't want to go to a crowded beach. So I like looked on the map, like on maps, and I like went along the coast and I went down to Santa Cruz and I was like, hmm, let me see. Okay, that beach. That seems like a small private beach that no one ever goes to. So I like looked on the map, said okay here, and then directions, and then I went there, and like there were like ten people there max. You went by yourself? Yeah. You just an introvert. <laughs> yeah, I love going places by myself. Wait, it's just a solo did you just say, Did you just say Simone Beach? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant something else. I was like, wait, wait. What are you trying to get at? <laughs> Like sea, man. Sea. sea. Like, like, no, like the waves. The sea, ocean, water. Yeah. Uh, sea Moana Beach. Moana. Simone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, beach is fun. I feel like, I don't know, it'd be really hard. I don't know. Like, I don't see myself like moving somewhere where there's no beach. Mm. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I do. Okay. I can only tread for like three seconds, but I can make my way to shore. <laughs> you know That's saying? enough time. <laughs> We're going to have to help out Kyle. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't swim. And me. I can't swim either. I will get you guys like floaties. Yeah. I, I was in the Navy for six years. <laughs> I went overseas on a ship and, and I don't know how to swim. Okay. You got that life vest. I got I away. I the little cute the ducky float. floaties. I don't, I don't right? know how to swim, but I know how to float. <laughs> I, in terms of like getting into the Navy, there's the test where you have to uh, thread water for like five minutes. Mm-hmm. And so when I came in, they made me jump off this like diving board. And before I dove, I was like, yo, I just want to let y'all know I don't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... And so they're like, well, dive anyway. We have people around. <laughs> they have these long poles. Funny. So if you just, you know, they'll just put the pole out. So I jumped and I hit the water. I felt everything was in slow motion. And I was just going underwater. <coughs> and all of a sudden, all these poles came out of me like, blah, blah, blah. I was like holding on to them. And so, because I started panicking, I guess, uh, underwater mm. already. And so <coughs> they sent me that pole. So I grabbed onto it. But wh- how I passed was that they had to, I had to come back the next day. I just had to float for five minutes. So I floated on my back. <coughs> just relaxing. And for that five minutes, I swallowed like two gallons of water while trying to flow. <laughs> but I passed. So. Two oh, gallons of, of water. So I was throwing up like, what do you call it? Uh, the chlorine oh. for like a day. <laughs> oh. But I passed. So, but I still don't know how to swim. That's okay. <laughs> That's a weird kind of seasick. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing up chlorine. Right? Oh, God. Man. So when the schools, when school, when are you graduating? Um... I don't know. How many more? <laughs> how many more years yeah, you have? Um. Well, I'm finally transferring um, next summer, so I'm excited for that. Okay, one it's more year. About time. Transferring to San Jose State is the plan. Okay. Um. But yeah, and then I plan on. I see. This is why I say I don't know because I plan on minoring in something, and like I haven't really told anyone yet. Mm. But okay. it's because I just need to figure out how long it's going to take for me to finish that minor. Because, mm. like, when I'm transferring, I'm going to have my associate. Okay. So I'm getting the ADT associate's degree for transfer. And then I'm going to, when I'm there, I'm going to see, like, be like, hey, so I want a minor in this. Is this possible? How long would it take? And all that stuff like that. But, mm. yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see, like, if I even still want to minor in that thing. Mm. But, well, yeah. do you, would you mind sharing what is the minor? It's okay. You don't have to share, but I just wanted to ask. Um, what, is, what are you trying to look at in terms of minoring? Um, that's something I'm going to keep to myself. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a secret. Yeah, but, it uh, is. Okay, that's dope. But yeah. Sounds so. like an exciting thing, yeah. this minor thing. Yeah. And there's a specific purpose for it. Yes. I know I, I'm so sad I couldn't talk about it. <laughs> I know. It's okay, though. It's okay. Because there's more to talk about in the future, you know what I'm For saying? sure, for sure. Yeah. Fun stuff. Why are you so shy? I just wanted to ask you that. 
I so shy? <laughs> Why the fuck are you so shy? Why don't you talk? Why, um, why are you so shy um, all the time? Mike said, Mike said, why don't you talk, Dan? <laughs> why do you tell us that? Why do you tell us that? Um, uh, in terms of like, like not talking about certain things and stuff, I just like to keep things to myself. I don't know. I just like, mm. like processing things on my own to see if I really want it. Because um, mm. I just... I just feel like that's the best for me to really feel, to really like know if I want it or not. Cause I'm the type of person who like feeds off energy a lot. So if someone's like, let's say like, I'm like, oh yeah, I kind of want to be a tap dancer. Like just at the <laughs> heat of the moment. The next day she's, like, tap, she's doing a tap dance class. <laughs> someone's like, oh my God, yeah, be a tap dancer, be a tap dancer. And then while I'm doing it, I'm like, wait a minute. I just like, this was just in the moment. I didn't really want to do this. So it's like, I just kind of have to like, See it for myself to see uh, if I really want to do this. That's but, good. I yeah. think a lot of people are very impulsive. Yeah. I'm very impulsive, oh. but I think you like to take your time. Yeah. And I think there's one I mean, thing that you also do that you don't like to announce what you want to do yeah. until you're doing it. Yeah, exactly. And I know, I know where that's, that's where it's coming from. Yeah. You were saying, Jonathan? But, but Simone, you're like a very <laughs> observant kind of person, right? Like, even yeah. though you may not speak, you're always aware and always just looking out for stuff, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, Mike. I mean, bro, we we is impulsive, bro. We Scorpios, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's bad. Bro. We just it's we bad. just put everything on the table. Yeah, like, like I remember one time. <laughs> actually, no, she knows. I remember one time <laughs> I was I was at my girl's house and there was a, I was I, I wanted a new Xbox controller, and there was like a sale on them, and then I was like, <gasps> but then, you know, I have to. I had to drive all the way to Dublin in order to get the controller. And it was like 30 minutes before closing. And that's about the time it takes to get there from where we're, where I was at. And so I was, I don't even know why I was talking to my girl about it. I was like, you know, I kind of feel like I, I want to get this. Uh, she was like, I mean, why don't you just wait for till tomorrow? Like put the order now and then just pick it up tomorrow. And I was like, I need it. Okay. Now. And then, you know, it was time for me to go because uh, she has like game nights with her friends. And so, you know, it was, I think it was like 730. And I was like, it's okay, Jonathan, relax. You know, you already put the order in, you know, um, just go home. We're going to get it tomorrow. And as I was going home, I get an email. It's like, oh yeah, your order's ready. And I had just placed the 10 minutes. And so I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fucking jetting all the way to Dublin, and so I fucking went and got it. And I was just like, "Hey, babe, I texted her. I was like, "Hey, babe, guess what I just got?" She's oh like, "What?" I was like the controller. She's like, "Oh my god!" I but want like, it now. I have, I have bits like those, you know. What I'm saying yeah. like sometimes it's just like, should I get food or not? Like, should I get pizza? And I'm just like, why am I? Why the fuck am I asking myself that question? I just fucking jet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm already thinking about it, that means I want it. You know, like. But yeah, no, I get those impulsive like times too. Like, oh my God, I had a really bad like habit of like ordering DoorDash every mm. single night. Like literally when I go on my bed, ah, oh, fuck, it's DoorDash time. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it was so bad. Like me and my sister would be eating like McDonald's every single night. And I was, I was telling her, I was like, dude, this DoorDash is probably like, dang, again. Like, you know, like McDonald's, I'm like, again, dude. DoorDash. But yeah. Yeah, Jonathan, did you have a question for the C Money? Yeah, I was just kind of curious. Would you say that, you know, because you're talking about ordering DoorDash from the comfort of your bed and that sort of stuff. Would you say that that's your comfort zone in a sense? Like that's that's your place. Like that's where you feel comfort and like, you know, just, you know, like that's your place pretty much. That's the church. Yeah. Yeah. My bed is so comfy. I, I love my bed. Um, I, sometimes I have to like stop myself from like doing homework on my bed and stuff like that. And like, just, you know, like never oh, leaving my knock. bed you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um i say like that's my whole room like i love coming mm. home to my room and i feel like i'm very grateful to have that space to myself because like i feel like i try to wherever i go like even when i was living in sacramento i try like i try to make my room the most comfort comfortable place and mm. every time someone always comes in they're like wow like i'm so comfortable and i was like thanks that's the vibe Feng shui, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Feng shui. Feng <laughs> shui. Feng <laughs> shui. But yeah, like this is my comfort zone. I swear I feel the most like, okay. it's like a breath of fresh air. So. It's like Drake, right? I just love my mama in my bed. 
Is that what he said? My mom doesn't even come in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and my sister. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, oh, yeah. From God's plan? Huh? From the song God's plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, do you love me? I tell mm-hmm. her only partly. Yeah, only, only love, love my bed, bed and my mom. And my mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know yeah. what you were saying, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like my mom. and Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but yeah. Did, I, any? I mean, for... Oh, sorry. I, was say, I think for me, the reason why I asked is because like, I mean, you're an earth sign, that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. And so my girl is also, and so I'm just like, oh, I see kind of like the vibes, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, <sighs> goddamn pandemic, but I was kind of hoping like y'all interact and that sort of stuff. And I just kind of observe, I'm like, whoa, yeah. this is what it's like when earth signs like are bonding or whatever, like they're like together <laughs> yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Oh, that's dope. I'm excited for her to be on the show, to be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. be coming in soon. Dope, yeah. dope. But yeah, I think for me, just, you know, is there any last words for you to sh- that you would share with the, our listeners? Any words of wisdom before we end? It's mm, interesting. Words of wisdom. I don't know about that. But like, um, well, like most recently, I've been really like, I've just been reading a lot. And like recently, like my most recent book that I've been reading is this called, this this book. Well, it's made into a book because it's, it's from, it's this French philosopher named Jean-Paul Sartre, 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 Sartre? I don't know his last name. Oh, Jean-Paul Sartre? <laughs> yes, whatever his last name is. But his, um, they took his um, lecture on existentialism is a humanism and turned it into like a book. But I'm reading that, and it's very like eye-opening and it's interesting. But do you know that one? Existentialism. No, is I'm sorry. You said John Paul. <laughs> I started thinking uh, Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I got no right. <laughs> oh, Jean Paul. Jean Paul. Jean Paul. It's like Jean Paul Sartre. Oh, I'm not oh, even gonna oh, butcher oh, it. Jean Croissant. Oh, so Jean. Oh, Feng Shui. Just kidding. But yeah, um, I guess it's just like learn, like keep learning, keep opening your mind to things have an open mind i like yeah i would just say like just learn keep learning for sure be be curious i know people like curiosity killed the cat but (laughs) it's okay (laughs) learn from it learn from it yeah yeah read read i would say read (laughs) reading is good i would say read but that's my words of wisdom. Read. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have any words of wisdom, so I'm telling you to read to get words so of wisdom. So you get your wisdom. Read a, read a damn book. <laughs> yeah. Some of y'all, some of yeah. y'all be like, um, I don't read. Yeah. My only source of reading is Twitter. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. I'm just kidding. That's and that's our episode for today. Girl. Let's go. Make sure to check out C Money, Simone, and her YouTube and her podcast. We'll put the link out. So, and if you have any questions and want to have a conversation with her in terms of what books yeah. or maybe creating a book club. Oh, yeah. I'm down for that, to be know? honest. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's it for today. Thank you all for listening. So, let's go. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Let's go. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry about it. We're bringing back my head. Oh,